cauliflower. Nice. Uh, and a pita bread. bread. Pita bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pita bread. A lot. Cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you brought more people. That yeah, is cool. yeah. It's Saturday okay. night. It's a yeah, difficult I time. For... <laughs> I know. How are you? I am good and excited and it was a great week. I was just reading your feedback in the Y. And oh, 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 oh Amber. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. And um, yeah, it's, it is, it is a, a very intense week for many, many of you. So I had some, oh yeah. Well, oh, hey. Everyone wants to say hi. I have a lot of um, feedback from people who are not expecting. I hate to see this. Okay. okay, cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, how did you feel doing the exercise? Um, yeah, it was uh, really nice to... Um, to uh, sorry, it's, uh, it was really nice to um, go over it. And uh, yeah, I really liked it because normally you don't really stand still on these things, you know? So uh, it was nice to, uh, to, to think it through and to write it down. I think it's a, a commitment and uh, I like it, yeah, a lot. You know, I did the exercise for myself today. So yeah. I'm going to put myself on a challenge of creating 120 pieces of content in 30 days. Oh my God, that's so much. Yeah. It is insane, but it's like it is really taking myself to a stretch. So if I can, I can really put together a blueprint for doing that. Now I have you to time. Yeah, I'm going to delete <laughs> it. It's annoying. No, it can be. I, I can see you to time. Otherwise, all, all the time it's when not I talk, wide. I see Amber sounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. So it's um, yeah, it's really, really, Wait. really, really exciting. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Oh, that's nice. Toby, come inside of the <laughs> And Wait, uh, how is your work? Yeah, it's been super busy. It's uh, been crazy because a colleague of mine is uh, on sick leave. Uh, and then another one was in quarantine. So I basically run the whole building uh, alone. And uh, yeah, it was really challenging because I work four times, four days, 10 hours. Oh, so uh, yeah, it's a long day. Uh, so, what, then, uh, so it's are you guys open now, or or because Yolanda was? Yeah, we are. Was, oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah but they were closed, so that was nice because yeah. otherwise uh, I would work from home, and uh, yeah, for me, I really like to go to the location. So uh, yeah, mm -hmm. luckily we're we're still open. Yeah. And are you doing the exercise just for the photography or are you doing for the DJs as well? Yeah, I want to do it for the DJ, but I promised myself I first want to finish for photography and then when I have time left, I will do it for the DJ. You, but I, I copied you can, already. You can do it, but go slowly. Okay. Yeah. If you yeah. feel you start because... Hi, Toby. Hello. If you start to feel very overwhelmed... Like, this is very emotional. I don't, I'm not like sharing and teaching just like technical parts. We will arrive there. Yeah. But this is deep. Yeah, of course. So I yeah, have. Yeah, but some... it's nice to start with it, I think. Hi, Toby. How are you Hi, doing? Both. I'm fine. You? Did you solve your, your Ableton problem? Not yet. <laughs> it's, no? a bug. it's a bug in the VST. Okay, I don't, use, I, I don't use Ableton, wait. Oh, Hello. Tom. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Hi. Where is Hello. you? Hi. Hey, Tom. Hey, how are you guys? Good. 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 Fresh and good and excited. And Oh, coming. wine. Yeah, wine. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm having dinner uh, at the moment. Toby, did you cut your hair? <laughs> Cheers. No, last time did you, already. <laughs> did you? Yeah, but you cut your hair, right? Yeah, a bit. Yeah, and your beard as well. Yolanda. No. No? No. So I'm seeing that. <laughs> oh, we have a special guest today. Hola, I love. Oh, I need to say, I need to say. Hi. 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 
Um, I need to say that I had amazing, like amazing wow moment this week with Yolanda. Can I share? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I was, I was really kind, Yolanda was freaking out, like, I don't know where to start and what to do. And mm -hmm. how, like, I'm going to repeat what she said. She said, I'm 80 years or like, a, a, like a very old woman and I cannot manage yeah. this. And, like, and I was like, so stressed. And I said, oh my God, I don't want her to get frustrated, fr frustrated with this. So I text her and I said, look, if you need anything, please come back to us. I'm ready to jump on a call with you, no problem. And then uh, the other day, two days ago, she like text me amazing mood boards and ideas and this and all like, you know, it's yes, you manage. We have a special guest, a hiding one here, then is my father. Hi, daddy. Yeah. Hi. My father really? is listening to his, his daughter, um, daddy. Uh, that's so okay. nice. He's hiding himself. So my hi, <laughs> oh, Papa, ¿qué tal? Hola. Hola. You look cool. What? What your wife did to you? <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of my. Hi, Ali. <laughs> oh, daddy. So my daddy is uh going to hi ali my ali my father is here like a guest so my dad is going to go through passion as well because he's going to teach all of us how to grow microgreens at home do you guys know what it is oh it's nice victor would like it yeah i know i know it's really nice it's really nice. So, Daddy, planting just observe. You are not involved here. Oh, no. and we have another but guest. But now is this possible? Your father looks so young. My father. My father was the most beautiful <laughs> man in the world. Was. Was. <laughs> uh, well, now, it's, now it's Paul, right? <laughs> oh, guys, let me just tell Tamara. She's Dutch as well. She's on the Belgium. And she's not inside of our pancake, but she's just hanging out with us today and she Tamara just present yourself tell what amazing things you do <laughs> thank you so much I'm not from Belgium I'm from the Netherlands no 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 you are Dutch but you are in Belgium no I'm in Luxembourg oh okay I'm sorry oh okay <laughs> okay yeah uh I just started 15 days ago so I had my second day of lunch today and had eight people to sign up for a sales call so but what do you do what do you do to explain to oh, us so i'm an energetic therapist i try to help people to recognize that they have a lot of mindset issues and energy blockages that keeps them from being uh, the gift they truly be yeah yolanda i'm looking to you <laughs> <laughs> me too me too okay hi paul how are you doing paul you are cool you are really coming from the hip-hop scene one okay just to tell you just to tell you we have two visitors so you have my dad then is victor you have tamara as well they are just visiting is not they are not part yet of our pancake but uh they are hanging out and understanding how amazing we are okay it's basic that is your dad called victor yeah my dad called yeah uh, my, dad is my boyfriend too oh oh <laughs> that's why i said it's it's something for victor because my boyfriend is a gardener i had a boyfriend named victor and that was weird when i was young Sir. Yeah, and my husband is online as well, but he's hiding himself. I can see him from the sofa. Uh, Tom, since Hello. you are a newcomer yeah. to this, this pancake, yeah. I want you to present yourself, tell why you are here. Amber, I'm going to mute, I'm going to mute you, okay? Yeah, better. Yeah, um, tell why you are here and uh, yeah, and what you're expecting from this adventure. All right, so uh, my name is Tom. Um, uh, I'm a student. I've worked at the Adam Tower together with uh, Amber. She's also the one who brought me into this program. Okay, she, yes. uh, for, she who don't, for who don't understand what is the Adam Tower? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. So that's, that's one of the places I've worked. 
it's a huge venue in Amsterdam. Rocky G's played there uh, herself uh, doing a live stream. Uh, it was an amazing time. I've worked there for like three years as a bar uh, keeper. And I really got inspired there to play. And since and it's a uh, very worked, iconic place from yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The within dancing. Amsterdam, like the whole yeah, it's where everything comes together, and that's really where I got inspired to play. Uh, so I DJ for like uh, almost three years now, and last last year I've uh, uh, organized a party for the first time uh, in my life. Actually, well, I've I've organized more parties, but this one was commercial. And uh, hi, Victor. Hi. And and um, yeah, it really got me excited about the, the whole event industry. And, and from this course, what I expect is to uh, be able to, to, yeah, I guess it's an influencer course. So influ influence my followers to go to my parties and uh, yeah, make, make a brand out of it, make a, make a name. He's doing very well already because until now, or at least on the last couple of months, he had no social media and he's basic sure. doing parties and the cover during the lockdowns kind of and and just through whatsapp so yeah. he's the, the typical person who have raving fans and they go with him and yeah. um I, I i love that approach i just want to tell you something important that i told and i tell to all my influence warriors I can teach you everything that I know, but you need always to be responsible how you're yeah. going to influence the rest of the people because it's very easy to influence and manipulate. And you can manipulate if it's for the good, but it's always you need to always be very responsible for how you influence people. That's all right. I trust you uh, in, in teaching me that. Yeah. Yeah, super <laughs> cool. And why? What you want more? What you? Oh, you told already. You want to have raving fans, okay? Yeah, raving fans. Like I'm, I'm uh, yes. within within like my own party experiences. I've always enjoyed the more um, the smaller parties, which are more intimate. So where the sphere in Dutch is like high, where there's a lot of ambience, where everyone links. It's it's one big cesspool of people who like each other and know each other. So. That's kind of what I want to achieve uh, in life, maybe. To be one of those people who connects, uh, who connects such, such groups. Um, I think that is a really important note that I want to bring for artists on this pancake and, and for, for all, all of us in general, but for artists or for music or for, for, for the part where we are. Uh, we are, we then we are used to go out and we are used to music and we are used to hang out. All of us are struggling with missing that or for money reasons or for, you know, it's, it is really a good moment to, because it's no so much noise with every DJ and every party and everything. So I think the content then you need to create and build is going to be of do you miss this is almost there. Do you miss this to remember when it's almost there. So picking up that in, in, in building, because I don't know how this dance scene is going to open, but if it's open, it's going to open with fear and kind of not sure about it. Even if it's all involved with extreme things, with drugs and you know, all that thing, yeah. it is it's going to be weird. So that it's your job to guide them on bringing them to a safe place, to a place where they they can get back from everything, the old stress that have been this year and something. Rehabilitate. Uh, yeah, exactly. That is the yeah. correct word, I think. Cool. How are you guys feeling? Great. I'm feeling yeah? great. Yeah. Great. My Ellie. <laughs> Do you feel great? <laughs> For her, she was waking up and I was sending her like uh, some words in English for her to help me translate my weird, uh, the weird way that I speak. But great. Um, I have a little PDF just to guide me. So we know exactly what we are going to talk now. We, as many people uh, still will pop up uh, during the, the meeting. And I decide to uh, do it uh, more long because I want to give you guys time to go through all the process. Um, I had, I'm not going to say names, but I had, I spoke with almost all of you guys and I know 
many of you were struggling with these exercises. Other ones were really having a <gasps> aha moment. Um, I had some people who are even crying and stressing out and, and I know this is deep. This is not just a technical how to do it course. I don't believe, I said this thousands of times to you guys, I don't believe in teach mechanic if you don't know how to drive, okay? And be sure, 100% sure, clear, who's your audience, what is your why, who are you, what are you going to give, and we are going to talk that about next week. That is the keys what for me are missing in majority of people when they do social media. And you can like, I can teach you like one secret. Like I saw some people doing like the common secrets or, you know, and I to finish the caption with a question. And it's such a great, I feel like my heart is full each time I see you guys doing that. But if you just know that and you don't have the foundations right, what is going to happen is you will lose your momentum. So uh, who wants to start to go through all the exercise and uh, you guys can, you know, can put your hand up if you want to be involved on the answers and I will ask some people. Ali, can I start with you? Can you unmute? Yeah, you do it. Hello to California. Oh, I'm so, I miss California a lot. <laughs> How are you doing, my dear? I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah. Very, very overwhelmed or not? Or um, I mean, it's Saturday morning. We've just been watching cartoons today, so it's been pretty mellow so Did, far. Do you have like a huge allergy to certain cartoons? I had to Baby TV. I yeah, had a huge trauma. I found myself watching Baby TV when she was sleeping. So <laughs> yeah, it's very traumatized. We've gotten our our four year old into anime, so that's been fun. Oh, cool. Cool, that yeah. is cool, that is cool. So during the exercise, uh, I, I ask for an audit to your social media. I'm not going to ask for numbers and et cetera, but did you find some insight like did like um, surprise you or that you were not aware? Um, just seeing like my most popular posts was interesting and just how much like the first three were like really stellar and then the rest were just kind of okay but just to see that discrepancy was really interesting and just thinking about why those posts were so popular and kind of using that as a framework to guide how I post moving forward so that was interesting for sure what 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 were the posts what I don't remember we talked about it but what was in what was yeah, the most popular one like had two, um, it was like a carousel post, I guess. And the first was an image of a very unique shape. I do circus art. So it was like a very unique shape that people aren't used to seeing with like a nice drapery. And then the second one was the video of the sequence. So I think the first picture got people's attention and then people like swipe to actually see the whole choreography. So that was, I don't remember, I don't even remember what my caption was for that mm -hmm. one, to be honest. But I think that um, that structure was really popular and it caught people's attention and stopped their scroll. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what, uh, what, what Ellie is saying is like when I ask for the audit, I share two other videos. One of them is how to find your most successful posts. And you can see like it's really weird because if you have a successful post with a lot of likes, you can think, oh my God, this post is bringing me a lot of followers. And posts to bring you followers are not necessarily the post to bring you engagement and not necessarily the post to bring you reach and not necessarily the post to bring you comments. So it is really important to have a business account on Instagram so you get this data for many reasons. One, you will be for sure knowing what is working. You can repeat, you can even repost if it's like, like three months ago, you can repost because people have short memory. And you know, then if you run ads on that, 
that are going to work. And this um, little detail of knowing what the posts are working better for you was what make me create another blueprint and we can talk on, on the future, then was to grow my account with ads. It's a totally different, but knowing what was working make me capable to um, offer other options, like kind of the same options. Carousel, and I have been very busy creating Carousel, and I know we can like do a Canva. I found a way to do Carousel. It's really easy and practical and cool. And um, Carousel is very important. Um, for example, you cannot run normal ads on Carousel. That is something extra than we will talk on the future. But Carousel is where people go to have a transformation. Like, oh, how can I change my account for business accounts? And you explain that step by step how to do it. Then they scroll that, right? And they have the transformation and they feel great. And the more great they feel, more they feel in depth with you. Do you understand? Like, uh, and we are going to talk this week about our goals and about how we can give value. And each one of us in different types of, of, of media or different types of business than we are, we can provide value in different ways. So we go through there. So it's really important to understand what are the posts who have been working for us. And what we, when we do an audit, we have, I always say in this, we have this idea about Instagram and whatever. It's like this, I always compare like this Medusa. It's half beautiful, half scary. And when we do an audit, we really find in some things that we did believe it was and it's not and vice versa. So because of that, I was asking how it was your audit, because I think just the audit sometimes is really an interesting experience. So I'm happy for that. And that, do you want to share your who are you? Sure. I don't have my sheets were we supposed no, to get our worksheet yeah so i think you know this is my first pancake i did something wrong i need to find <laughs> out what is but i can copy them because i have i have your answer but I, I don't know why it's not the answer going to you so i will figure out that and fix that yeah okay? i can I show you how to do that <laughs> yeah please you will uh, okay lisa we are live come to visit us Sorry, Lisa was texting. <laughs> um, okay, and uh, tell me more or less. I know, I know you have that in a clear. Yeah, so uh, who am I? I'm, I'm Ali. I teach circus arts, um, aerial, rope, and fabric. Um, and I have been teaching at my own studio for a while. And then over the last year, moving my business online to scale it and have more impact. Um, gigantic impact to me, but from okay, yeah, you gigantic in impact. Um, and yeah, that's that's the goal to be like a go to resource in my field to help artists continue their education, even if they don't have traditional access to classes, to be really interested in the content that is more theory based. Um, yeah, and focusing on coaches and performers who are wanting more inspiration in their craft and also for recreational artists who want to level up so okay if i can add some things to you to you also to what you are saying you are uh I, we talked about and I, I i love always to give my view because i always think i give like a, a very specific different vision that it can make me make all of your stories more viral. And, and the, for me is how amazing is my idea about acrobats and people work on circus and, and you know, all, it is like majority of us artists that people live the dream, they are always struggling with financial ways to survive and etc. And I think that is so beautiful how you manage to have the kids that you have and put together a business and do what you love. It's like the most fulfilled and, 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 and amazing story because what people, when we arrive to the moment and we can tell your story in a video, what we are going to do to see it's people looking to, oh, if she did, I can do it. And that is like the biggest, the best feeling ever. So just adding that, that little 
uh, gold yeah, your story. Thank you for that angle because I think it is true like doing circus and being a coach isn't really looked at as a particularly lucrative thing to do and like what I've been creating and what I'm building like it's really like how can my art and my creative like this love for this art form like sustain me and support me and also have a huge impact on the community. I love that. I love that. It's like I'm. I love that. I love that, and I think this is really what people need to break the beliefs that they have about living your living your dreams and make it happen. You know, because if you are an artist, if you draw, if you do certain things, you cannot have financial freedom. For example, we have these things. If you are a mom of two, almost three, you have you have, it was going to be difficult for you. So it's, uh, it is, it is really a mission that I have with you and we have together is bringing that up with you and, and many of us. Lisa, hi, and sorry, hi, let's keep going. So we are talking, okay, so a few things. We have my dad here as an infiltrated person just checking out and we have uh, Tamara and she's just checking out our club, our, our weekly, Call and she's from Passion Fighters as well. So uh, just a little introduction. Tom was here. Oh, Tom, you are here. You just changed on my screen. And, uh, and he just say hi. And um, OK, we are just going through uh, the exercises of the week so everyone can uh, work with me and see. And you guys, if you have a question or a doubt or you want to involve, be involved, please put your hand up. And I'm happy to involve you guys. And Lisa, good morning for you. And your why, Ali? Ali? I, yeah, I don't hear you anymore. I know, sorry, I'm being distracted by my kids. No, um, it's okay. But <laughs> I, I, is, I remember like how difficult it is to kind of feel stuck in my own training. Like when I was new to the art, like not really having a supportive coach or access to growth and like coming back to it postpartum, like there's no real roadmap for aerialists to progress um, kind of outside the traditional framework. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I've been creating and it's something I wanted to do before COVID and that kind of just accelerated everything because there was so much of, more of a need for it. But I want, my why is to really give people in that situation hope that they can like get to where they want and to realize themselves as the best artists that they can be. Nice. And um, your audience? My audience is mostly women ages 24 to 40. Um, it kind of branches off, like I said, so either coaches and professionals who are looking for inspiration and just kind of their own creative outlet and also recreational people who are trying to balance their own training with work with family and just don't know how to structure their own plan okay uh this week i did not put anything on but we'll work on today after this call because this call is always what guides me um always it was just one week but it's going to guide me and um i this week is going to be about defining little goals, digital goals. And when I talk about digital goals, it, they are different for all of us. Digital goals can be a certain amount of followers, can be a certain amount of comments, can be leads, can be different things, okay? And um, we are going to talk about goals uh, on the next video, then I will put in uh, and I really want to work deep and I'm, I'm questioning myself if I will run a masterclass holding the two things that you want, like uh, Ali wants to do the creative studio, but as well going through what kind of value can we bring in and in what form and shape for each one of us, because this is the second big important piece of this whole working. So um, I'm just going to ask you, I saw you uh, posting, but I saw you did like a rock star. I thought it was amazing. You, I saw each detail and everything that you did. And I think very interesting. Then you share about how to take photos and how to edit them. 
I did not forget the story of the preset, but is your community asking or have that where you have the idea of something that is slightly different of what you teach? Yeah, I think that that idea came from just people have been commenting, just noting like, oh, like you have such beautiful photos with that kind of this expectation of like, I must be spending so much time and money um, making them. And I just want to kind of shatter that belief. It's like, no, like it's really not that hard. Um, and what, I mean, we're all performers in my community. Everyone likes to show off um, to a degree. Me too. And, <laughs> you know, and, like that's something that I think everyone was like, oh, like I can do this. So even though it's not really in line with my product necessarily, it's something that I think adds value. It's really interesting because on the end, they all need to showcase their work. We all need to showcase their work. So uh, Little Things has presets giveaway. It is very strong. It's something that we can make together. We can make together in one hour. It's not a big science. And you have certain specific, you have a specific aesthetic. So it is really cool to, to maybe put that to work. Uh, and this is a way to find the value. So the way that we find value, one is knowing our audience in two ways, or because we speak with them or because we are them. So we need to ask ourselves. And like thinking out of the box, because what you did is think, think out of the box is really interesting and the only way we do this is not ego being there just like i'm here what you need let me let me solve let me solve your problem okay yeah it so was definitely um, a bit of a test because in the past i've offered free resources with like tutorials of choreography and tutorials of skills so this was the first one that was kind of a little bit different <laughs> And yeah, it seems like it was really well received. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can run a story with a question. What can I, what can I give? What, what can I provide to you? What, what you think I know then you need to know? What, you know, um, they want you, they want, they want to be involved. They want in the same way Then for sure for you all guys, it's important that we create this together. We, and you don't want to be, the center of the world you want to be the one who, at least for what i know about you you want to be the one helping the others and 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 it's really important and start thinking about what value can you bring in and sometimes value can be motivation somebody sometimes value can be a way of laughing or making a meme of something they just aerialist or acrobats will <laughs> understand you know that feeling of that is me for example dj's here I know Paul will understand me. When you are playing and you see someone with a glass like this in front, yeah, in front of your gear, you just want to punch them in the face. Yes, exactly. Why? Because as, as a DJ, we know that if the liquid falls on our equipment, equipment, uh, it will finish the party. So for us, if we do a meme, and this is for you guys, content creators for DJs, if you do a meme, with, uh, uh, you know, we get a message. And if your audience are DJs, they will click with you, like Dutch people like to say, they click. Um, so it's really, it's really interesting to keep that in mind, you know, to keep, to keep the voice. What, what, what is the connection? It's, it's really, really deep. Thank you, Ali. Thank you yeah. so much. Let's go. Yolanda, I know you are busy with your kids. I can see you and can see you stressing out. So uh, like Lisa will say, <laughs> relax, your, <laughs> relax your face. Um, I'm, I, like I said already, I'm so proud of you this week. You start so scared it's with so many doubts. And yesterday we hang out for a little bit and you were laughing and I love that. How was the week? Was difficult the exercises? How it was? Your microphone is mute. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't difficult. Uh, I, yeah, kind of enjoyed it because, um, I, well, it, it it defines you in who you are. You have to think about it again. And when you are for a so 
long. I like mine. No, it's okay. Do you want when to you are for so long. <laughs> I have when six. For, uh, doing it. Huh? I have six, <laughs> so it's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's okay. When uh, when you are um, doing it solo for such a long time, uh, your business and, and, and things, you go on, um, yeah, how do you say it? One line. And now you really rethink things and how you want it. And so th it's nice. It's nice. It's refreshing. Yeah. I so, see a big yeah. difference. I'm not going through because you are with him. I'm not going to push you a lot. But I, I'm, I was with my heart was so warm with, with seeing what you are doing. And I'm so happy that you went from the frustration place where you are, like taking pictures next week and all yeah. that. Yeah, I, I want to say well done, well done. I feel very responsible for all of you guys and well done. I, have, I had other rock stars this week and I will speak about it. But Toby, I'm going to you now. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. A bit tired, but I'm fine. Yeah, yeah you're fine. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Full. I need to mute because my husband had the microphone on, so I've listened to myself two times. Uh, how was for you? I know you did the exercise, but I want to go through the exercise with you. So point one, who you want to be? Um, hmm, yeah, I, I went to the exercise several times because the first time I had issues to, to save it or to post it. So I had to do it again. Um, and it reminds me um, why I'm doing this. It was, uh, as Yolanda said, it was a, fr a fr refreshing uh, experience for me. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I found out that I, I want to make uh, the people feel alive, to remember um, why we live. And I recognize that techno is uh, more than a, a genre or a music, uh, it's a philosophy or a, a way of living for me. And I want to present this to the people and maybe they find um, also um, yeah, love in techno and yeah. <laughs> Um, I want you to keep that in your mind. And I think the best way to share that is to share how techno touch your life. Techno is kind of a religious experience when you are really deep in. Uh, it's really weird to explain because music in general is very powerful, but uh, Techno have this mix of darkness and beauty. It's like a beaut underground beauty. It's like a really weird space. So it's really, I, I, I totally understand you. But when I was looking to, when I look to your why, and I, see, I know you want to grow a community. Uh, when I look to your audience, I found out that uh, you skip kind of the, oh, they will pay me one euro. Uh, I want to bring something to your guys' attention. Money is amazing and we all should love money. And when we get, give our very best, it should not be in any way, form or shape, a shame to be paid for. And I'm talking with myself, like true for myself, like two months ago. I was like me as a DJ, I always struggle because I love to play. I love, I think you guys understand me. Like I adore to be in stage and to have the opportunity to play. So asking for the money that I should receive was always a struggle for myself. And I want you all to build this blueprint as well based on a financial goal, even if it's small on the beginning, okay? I don't, I can teach you all of this and not me concerned with the financial return, but it's really important that you think about how can you be paid for in a certain way. I know you have your job, 
you just start now a new job and it probably it's something that you like uh, at least you we spoke about that but I want you to keep that in your mind make sense to you yeah yeah, yeah. I, I completely agree with you but I also think that um, once you once you start doing something that you're good at and it's something that people want you for that it's not only it's not only the attention or the moment that you're in it that that you are compensated but if they really want you there and if you're that good then you should be compensated financially it's only logical right yeah Mm -hmm. it it is but you know we like i'm going to share a little story about myself i always found myself as a person oh i'm not a salesperson i'm not I cannot, like when I arrive to the moment and I start to do these calls before you, Toby, but when I start to do these calls and need to say how much was my offer, oh my God, I was going to like my, I, I don't know, I don't know if you passion fighters had that before in the beginning, but when I knew it, the call was going so well, but when I knew it, I was going to say it, it was like I did want to die. And I was always like creating stories in my mind. This person cannot pay. They don't have money. They will, you know, and today, and sorry for you all, but today I know then the offer and what I bring in is much more than you guys paid for. And I don't say that in in an embarrassed way. I say that like you guys, that you have it. Because I give my best on this. And I'm really good, you know? But I, I, and, and is that then is the, 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 the secret when you, and maybe Ali and Lisa understand that and, and Tamara understand that they many are Nuria. And I did not say hi to you, please. Uh, and, uh, and so it's like people, when you know, then you are like, if your best friend have a headache and you take not of near or whatever, or drink water or whatever, you know, then he's suffering. You go and you give the, you give your your you give what is working for you, so it's it's about that. It's, if you are doing a party, then you know everyone is there is a great fit for each one, and we are going to give our best to have a good time. It's not not difficult to sell something. I just like I, I I'm going to announce something that I did not told yet. I'm going to. Oh my God, I'm going to regret this shit. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to put myself through 30 days of 120 pieces of content in 30 days. And the reason I want to do it is I want to test a few things. And I am working on that for three days already. At the same time, then I'm working on the pancake. So I, I'm creating it. And the reason I want to do it is because I want to, I want to see how the account change. I want to test a few things. And I want to put myself through to the process. And uh, the reason I, I'm sharing this is giving value is very important. And I want you to think about how can you make money with this? Okay? Because I see you so quiet. Are you sad with me or something? Toby? No. Yeah. Do you understand <laughs> what I mean? Like, I don't want you, I understand like techno is a religion and we should all, but we all need to pay bills. And I, yeah. I want you to, I want you to put on your vision of a money goal so we can go through that. Okay. It's really important. And I'm here to, we will work together with, with the artists because as artists, it's a little bit more difficult because we don't have so many outlets online because of the music rights and etc., but for sure we can make something happen. So we will find it, okay? Cool. Paul, hello. We had a great week, hello. me and you, huh? We did. Yeah. <laughs> so for we, we did, uh, well, so we had a call on the beginning of the week and like we start, checking his Instagram account and seeing some difference. And Paul has this like personality that some of us don't have and is loud and clear and fun. And I don't know how you dare. <laughs> it is, it is, we are just, I'm just trying to bring this on to the Instagram and to the social media in general. And I want to know how did you feel this week? Um. I've took about a hundred videos. 
<laughs> different videos of myself um, doing different things. Um, I've just done a live stream about an hour ago. Um, I took some video from that as well. Uh, it's basically, just, I'm going to see it because obviously we had the call about um, the like not having the personal aspect in it. And I just want to bring more about sort of the personal aspect into it because I've always sort of hidden, hidden behind. That's why I wear the sunglasses because I'm more comfortable wearing the sunglasses. Even when I'm DJing in a dark club, they're on. I, I, can, I don't know why because I'm, I'm, I, it doesn't matter, but it's just I'm just comfortable doing that. So it's just like I say, it's not hiding behind sort of um, pictures all the time. I want to sort of push, obviously push, push the video, push the video sort of content out there, but obviously do it, do it. So it's, it's a, it's a full sort of image of, of what I'm doing, not just DJing. That's it. That's it. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I don't believe, I don't believe I, I, <laughs> the artist will kill me. I do not believe then music artists can grow online without telling a story. No. I don't believe Billie Eilish with all the amazing music that I love, we could get so deep connect with her, in my case, because I, I think she's a rock star. If she did not have that weirdness and that story of yeah. studying at home and the kids and the support of the parents and all that thing going on. We feel in love for, if she was old, uh, like a, a lady with 28 years old, it was not half of the, of the touch. So we need to tell stories. Oh, yeah. We need to say, like one great story of mine is how many times I hold myself for years because I felt so not confident with my English and how embarrassed I was with that and how that did hold me back for so long. And it's so unfair because you will understand what I mean in one way or the other. <laughs> At least you will learn some words in Portuguese or something like that. But I was so embarrassed. I, so, yeah, I come from a culture where Portuguese people always think they don't speak well anything. So that is something else. But how many stories are we telling ourselves that are holding us back? you know, and, and it's so, so important then just share, just share. I remember like one of my viral posts I had was me taking video and saying, this is enough. I am done with techno scene. I cannot be sexy. I cannot have long hair. I cannot be blonde. I cannot play, uh, have the story of playing EDM before. I cannot have uh, a sexy picture. I cannot uh, play, you know, have a, a, a EDM DJ friend. I cannot, well, bullshit. This is techno. It's like so many rules. And we let that, that is what we, I was, I sent to you, Ali, today and ask you to. I really believe it's not the opinion of the other ones are not the opinions of the other ones who are holding you back, but it's the opinion you have about yourself. Yeah, I mean, I started, I started half the week when I was taking videos, second guessing myself, deleting them, doing them again. I mean, I did the same video 30 times, but I should have. What I've done the second half of the week is just took it, left it, took it, took another one, left it. Haven't, I haven't messed about with them. You know, we are yeah. warriors. Yeah. We yeah. are warriors. We we train and we fight. We train and we fight, and Hopefully. we go in and do it. You know, and 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 that is, and 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 try to find your best angle. Try to find what you like more. Try to find what sounds better for you. Train in front of the mirror. The reason why I speak so well in the camera, and Daddy, sorry, you are going to listen to that, is because I grew up without sisters and brothers. I grew up alone. I had no friends. The place where I was, I was the only child with a bunch of adults. What was great and a great experience. And sounds sad, but I just did play in front of the mirror. And the reason why I love my reflection, I love myself, not always, is because of that. I'm used to, I know my best angles. I know how when I, I move and where I look good and where I don't look good. So that makes me, my life easy. So I think, when you, I think also when you're performing, it gives you that confidence back from the crowd because they're putting their energy in you as well. So it make, like, for me, it hits us sort of in the heart and 
that's what lifts that's what lifts us that's what gives us that's what makes me better mm -hmm. i used to do exercise when i was live streaming a kind of a meditation and a tam <laughs> tamara will is going to laugh at me now i normally i always set the intention for everything that i do and for example before i came here i set the intention to give you guys my very best but before i go to a live stream I close my eyes and I set the intention to give a good moment to everyone who's going to listen my set, whatever, when, if it's now, if it's after. And that is my job in setting that intention, make my, like my energy expand. Um, it, it is really, really interesting. And I, I want to ask you something, Paul, did you do the exercise of who, why an audience? I did, but I didn't set it to, and I couldn't obviously print it out or anything because I didn't. Okay, I will send to everyone that. But more or less, do you remember what did you put in? No, I can't. <laughs> so you don't know who you are. I've, I've, I'm lost. <laughs> do you want me to I'm read? Not... Do you want me to read? I can read you. You can read it. I, I was literally, I just, you know, when you're sitting and you're concentrating so much, and I was, I was writing the answers and I was concentrating on what I was doing. And then I got back, got the end. I thought, well, I haven't got a clue. Oh, I'm thought. sorry. I'm sorry, guys. We are, you know, this first pancake, we are working together and we are going to have some fails. Uh, so who are you? Okay, let me find you. Two seconds. Uh, uh, uh. I wish somebody would tell me because I've got no idea who I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I want to see who is the one who started this challenge, not knowing exactly who it was and who is still struggling until now. Yeah, hands up. Yeah, <laughs> you, Nuria, <laughs> shall we talk about it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, where are you? Come here. Uh, 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 what is your email? Oh, here. Okay. I want to influence through my DJing, music production, and clothing brand, and I want to be able to show the world that anything is possible. This is the motto of us. If you want, if you want it enough, and also to make some money, we love money. We love money. Money makes uh, the world go around. Yeah. A little tip about money. Like some years ago, <laughs> I changed. I did. I changed some a little thing in my life. So each time I touching money, whatever is to pay, whatever is to receive, whatever is digital money or whatever is cash money, I always say I'm a money magnet. And it's so funny, so funny, that my phone have a little magnet on behind where I put or when I'm filming. And now I catch a lot of coins here. <laughs> so I, I'm literally a money magnet. So money magnet, touching money, money magnet. Well, I love your money. It's a cool thing to do. It makes more money coming to you. So uh, it's really cool. Okay. And the feel so passion, pride, power, love, and excitement. <laughs> I love feeling this form, remembering why I am doing this. Yeah, cool. And, and your why, let me go back. I'll give this to you guys. I, sorry, my mistake connecting this in. So results, where we are, response. I don't have your why. Oh, no, I have. Yeah. I want to grow my influence to raise my social media reach so that I can wider have a wider audience and my message can be heard worldwide and to help and Encourage? How do you say? Encourage? Encourage? Yeah. Encourage. Other Encourage other people. More followers, more reach for my project and more influence and I can help and I can and help I can offer and help. Okay. okay. I'm excited to meeting different people from different parts of the world, from different walks of life, and then I can be part of something much bigger than myself. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. It makes I'll me. I'll, I'll pin me medal on now first. <laughs> you should. You should. Um, I I was doing the exercise for myself today because I felt very guilty. Then you guys are all doing the exercise and I did not do it. And I realized that I really I I want to coach people, experts and artists 
who have as a mission to transform other people's lives, to give them joy, to give them other outlets to improve. So it's kind of, it's kind of a, a big project for me because I can just achieve a certain amount of influence. But through you guys, experts, I will reach much more. So um, I was reading something. These words are not for me, but this week I was reading something that is, don't grow followers, grow, inf uh, grow uh, uh, experts. So, so raise experts around you. And, and it's, it's so important this. And this is going through our second week. And our second week is so important that we need really to find the problems so we come as a superior, you know, like Superman who comes and solves the problem. It's that then we want to be. So we go through that in a bit. So let me see, Sonia. Hi guys, hi Rita. Oh, how was the dinner? She was putting dinner on the Quickly. table. Quickly, <laughs> quick dinner. <laughs> Tell me something about your exercise. I know you were struggling with the with yes, the type I, form as well, but, I think but you, you received more than one from me. Sorry, but it's okay. It's okay. Tell me, tell me who you are. Who I am. Most of all, I am a happy person, and that's my motivation to help other people feel happy for themselves. Also, uh, I'm a very I'm a passionate about life. That's most of all who I am. And I want to inspire people to change their lives, to transform their lives, to believe more in, on themselves, to feel more connected, to go out of the autopilot that most of us live. That's who That's I am. Life. Also. The My real life. Life. Amster. Everything. Yeah. The Amster. Tamara, <laughs> the will, yeah, exactly. Um, and when did you realize you didn't want to do this? Because I know you kind of before and through the process. So when it was like the moment? When I was 35, I had this voice inside myself that was telling me life is not just this. Life is not just this. And I was going crazy about that because I had not, I didn't have the guts to face that. But at five, I said to myself, that's enough. You have to do something about this. You have to know yourself, to study yourself, to study the, the, the human development. And that was, that was when I started. I started to learn how to love myself and not and stopping blaming everyone else and the world about me having everything um, my mother used to say to me you have everything you have a family you have a husband who loves you you have a daughter you have the house the job what do you want more i want <laughs> to love myself <laughs> Oh my God, that is such a powerful thing because we women in special and sorry for you guys. Yeah. And we women in a certain generation, maybe the young, like maybe Amber will not get that so strong <laughs> like we did, but we are pushed to do a certain amount of things. Yeah. So we are pushed to be mothers. We are pushed to love our kids as the most important thing in our life. In and our husband as the most, at least in a very Latin culture. And like, if my grandma did dream, then I don't cook lunch and dinner every day for my kids. She will feel that I'm like, I'm not a good mother. And the worst thing, like sharing cultures now, the worst thing you can say to a Portuguese mother or the Portuguese woman is you are not a good mother. That is the way then you really deeply offend her. You go through the stripes. So you are not a good mother, so you don't exist. Or you are not a mother. Or, you, or, or for a person who don't want to be a mother, then, then it's, like, it's really interesting to see. And we grow up, you know, even if we come to the world and we change everything and we do things different and we find there's a, like that little voice inside of my hand. And like, I'm going to share something very personal. I was a mother very early and I was a mother with no mother. So my mom died when I was 10. 
and I struggle a lot in my life. And, and then for you guys, Portuguese, who you know that I was on the magazines and everyone was there pointing the finger, then how this uh, almost teenager mom with three kids, it's not a good mother. Or she's not kind of a, a small version of Britney Spears story, kind of. Um, I was always in that fear. I was, I deeply believe inside of myself that I was not a good mother. And then I had a, like a weird experience and I don't say I believed it, but it really did so solve me. Because I went to a medium, I supposedly spoke with my mom and my mom said to me, I was a great mother. And that solved me my problem, solved my problem. So coming back to the, to the things then we, we just, and now social media is important in this point, like the things that other people say about us just affect us if we deeply believe they are right. And another story is one day my, my son Rodrigo, I have six kids. So my son Rodrigo came from school and he said, mom, they're calling me gay. And I love gay people. I have thousands of gay friends. So I always did want, want to have a gay kid, but um, she, she said to me, uh, I'm, and I asked you, are you gay? Do you feel that you are gay? And he went, no, I'm not. So I said to him, so if you are walking on the street and someone shouts, Panda, are you going to look? And he said, no, why? Because I'm not a Panda. Yes, exactly. So if you don't, if you say to me, oh, Rita, you are so fat now, I'll say, ah, maybe a little bit, but not so fat, you know, you always start what we think about us. And this is so important. And I love the fact that you did want more for your life. We all, all of us, all the influence warriors want more for our lives and for the lives of the other ones. So it's really interesting. Then you, when you share your story, you say that I did want more for my life. Like your audience want more for their lives, for sure. And what is your why? Is you did want to have more for your life? Yeah, my my, my why is in, inspiring inspiring people, most of all women. I work most of all with women, but I, I love to work with, with with men too. But most of all, I I work with women, helping them. First of all, believe that everything is possible if they want. Believe in in themselves. Uh, teaching them. Uh, by, by my example, how they can love themselves, how, can, how they, they can know themselves to get where they want to be and to, to, to have better relationships. I work, I work most of all with relationships and, we, and with empowerment. And I make this, I don't know if this word exists, symbiosis of, of both. Like a, a, a mix, like uh, a... Mixed, uh, yeah, symbiotic. I connect. I don't, I don't yeah. know if they, I don't know the, if that exists. I connect both uh, in my in my products. Your solutions. So, yes, yeah, in my in my solutions is that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. Are you there? Where is Amber? Amber disappeared. I don't think Amber is here now. Uh, Lisa, good morning. Do you want to share with us how it was for you, or you are still kind of? Waking up, if you want. Hi, hi. I am. I'm making breakfast, but I'm very happy to share. Can you hear me? Yes, of course. Yeah, I'm just on my phone, so I want to. I want no, to turn the, um, the um, oh, maybe I will for a second. Um, hi. <laughs> Good morning. So, I don't have my things printed out, but I pretty much you got don't them need. in my head because um, <laughs> yeah, I don't need them because I've I've done this um, done the similar exercises before so where do we start who am i or what uh who you client? want to be online is client who i want to be online. a little bit different than who you are sometimes yeah yeah so who i want to be online i want to be the well i want to be maybe not the but one of the go-to experts in stress and anxiety but I want to be a relatable one. I want to be a real person who's gone through this stuff before, who, um, who's who's kind of, um, who's done the the hard way to get there. You know, I took decade or two decades to to create um, my personal inner freedom, and um, I want to make it easy for people to do it. You know, without spending a decade and doing 
dozens and dozens of courses and reading, you know, hundreds of books. Um, yeah, I want to make someone who can help you. I want to be someone who can help people do it the quick and easy way because it doesn't have to be hard. Um, you why? Why? Because that's what I get my kicks out of. <laughs> because that, that, uh, for me, it's like, uh, why, why not? Why not? Because that's my purpose in life. Um, it's very clear to me. It's um, um, why I love seeing the, I love seeing people who kind of almost lost their will to live, you know, who are just, you know, maybe my clients have got everything. They're the people who have everything. They've achieved everything they wanted and kicked every goal that they, they wanted. But then, then they're there and they're unhappy and their actions and they're like, what the fuck now, you know, I'm I, here and I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm not enjoying it. And so I get my kicks out of helping them actually enjoy and love their life again. And for me, it's a, I don't, I, I'm not doing them so that they thank me. I do it because I love the journey because it changed my life. And I feel like that's what I'm here to do. But also there's a connection in there, you know, when, when you share that journey with people, um, there's a beautiful human connection. And that's something that I missed out in my life a, a long time because I was relating to people from that kind of, from that, uh, um, the press release version of myself, you know? And when we do that, the, we don't connect as deeply because we don't let people in. We let people only see the parts of us that we think are fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and and um, so I guess I kind of, I thrive in that connection. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I thrive in that connection. That connection. Oh. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. <laughs> just, just run back inside. <laughs> um yeah so there's that it's love it's connection it's purpose it's passion it's do you guys i know feel, i can help people so do yeah. you guys feel some of you then your message gets like less powerful because it's you try to translate on the digital world i mean me as your student because I'm a student as well. Mm. I can, it's, it's really, we need to go in a very deep um, content creation, a very mm. honest place to explain mm. what is the reality of, in your case, live a life of stress, anxiety, panic attacks, because it's, it's like, I, it's like it's like a, such a strong layer then it don't let you see the world I, I, I like you live your life a 30 percent instead, instead of living your life yeah so and it's like you live your life in a bad dream almost yeah you know? exactly mm. I'll totally say that uh, do you mm. feel I, I feel I'm just listening to you and and like I miss deep Uh, reviews like deep stories looking to the camera in deep telling how it is how it was how it feels like because I know I'm not normal because majority of people are not like I am I'm very open in everything then all struggles I always think that all shit that I went through my life come on it needs to serve someone else <laughs> cannot just yeah, be for yeah. me But um, do you struggle how to communicate your message? Did you have been struggling with that in your digital presence? On social media, probably yes. Um, when I work with my clients, I share a lot. In, in the, when, I, when I believe that it can serve them and help them, I share a lot. In my book, I share quite a lot. Um, Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm trying to find um because I'm trying I'm trying, to, I'm trying the... to to come to my mind how mm. is the best way to go and share this kind of experience. Yeah, I wonder if video would probably be quite powerful. 
I um, think I think what I'm doing on mostly online is like like educating, giving tips, etc. But that it's I know that that's something that a lot of there are other people doing that. No, but you do it. You so, do it very well. Um, you do it very well. I, I I really think that it's just a question of um, layer some pillars. You say pillars. So really some some mm -hmm. you know base. Uh, structures so you get certain consistent on on the things it's mm. just that because your message i don't really have a plan i'm just yeah i know but we all, whatever yeah, I feel we like. all guilty <laughs> that is the reason we are here but you know it's yeah. it's, it's just um <clears throat> i feel then in this kind of content then you and a life coach then are here present and energetic healers they do we guys do it, it's it's a uh, People take a while to open for, they take a mm. while even to one, realize they suffer or they need to, mm. they are open for changement. It's mm. a big step between I'm ready to change. It's a, it's, it's, the, 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 yeah, the, the divide there is often when we suffer, we think it's because of the world, we, because, of, <laughs> it's because of the culture, but we think it's because of our partner. We think it's because of our, you know, our childhood or our upbringing. We think it's because of, and of course, some of these things can contribute and they can be triggers and so on and so on, but we're never going to change those things. So the big step is for people to go, like, this is why the road was so long for me, even though I did personal development course after course for years, but, but still I was in the mindset that I was doing everything right. And it's not that, or, or, it's not that we're doing anything wrong when we're suffering, but but to realize that the change needs to happen from the inside, rather mm -hmm. than, you know, yes. it's because of the coronavirus or it's because of this and it's because of that and it's always something else. It's kind of easy to blame, but to start taking responsibility and go, okay, I can change this from the inside. That's a massive step. And it's a big people, responsibility. Including. I don't know. I feel so guilty in saying that, but I see coronavirus as a blessing in my life yeah it's me too so weird but i, I mean i was mm. living and paul is there looking to me and you'll know what i mean like three years ago four years ago i was in california on a on a, on a parking lot and i said to paul i want to do this i want to help other people transforming their lives and he said to me man you are a dj you are like you are such a you have your life, like there was a machine behind me working. Mm. It was hard for me to go up. And if it was not, I remember when the coronavirus start, I remember to like saying, oh my God, why am I not freaking out? Why am I not freaking out? I need to freak out, like I need, but I was <laughs> feeling then was a good thing for me. So, you know, yeah. it's now I'm freaking out for other things, but, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's really interesting. <laughs> and I, I, I feel the big <clears throat> mission with all of you, even with my music artists here present, I feel a big mission in my shoulders in a good way of translating this kind of amazing changements and, and possibility and hope mm -hmm. in content. That, that, is, that is what really triggers me, like telling stories in a way that can give hope. And mm. not just hope yeah. can make people move their butts, you know? Because there's a yeah. difference between having hope and taking action. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really, really uh, grateful for you sharing. Thank you. Mm. I know your audience. And I'm you, you, but you, yeah. can share, you can share, you can share. It's really interesting. So yeah, I shared a little bit already. I guess I would define them as, you know, I love to work with high achievers because most of the time yeah, I cool, experience cool. when they, when they, well, yes, they're quirky, they're interesting, but also when they commit to doing the work, they do it. I, I, I get impatient working with people who are like one foot in, the other foot out. It's like, oh, maybe the universe is not aligned the right way today. I'm like, fuck, you know. If you, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you wait for that to happen, it will never happen. So, you know, I love to work with people who, who are willing to do the work because I can't do it for them. And I always say the same thing you said, that I can't do it for them 
so I can show them the way, but they need to take the actions. You can give the, the hands. Actions, you give the get, hands. Then they, exactly. Then they get the results. And I, I don't want them to just pay me the money and not do the work. Oh, I don't please, get anything no. out of that. Uh, so no. I want them, you know, I, if they're going to pay me to be their coach and help them, I want them to do the work so that they get the results because that's what, that's what I get out of it. You know, I want to, I want to do the journey with them and I want them to, um, I want them to come out, you know, feeling transformed and in a loving life again and passionate and, and dancing. So, and, and it, dancing. And, and that, dancing. you know, yeah. that is such an important part of my last three, four weeks. And I, I put on the PDF and I forgot to say to you guys, I'm going to share again is, uh, well, I cannot find my PDF now. Okay. I don't know. I, Zoom is not collaborating with me. Is the importance of celebration and mm. the importance of us celebrating and then like everyone like trying to do like a silly dance now because we managed to put together one week and we went through such a you know like deep questions like dancing silly each time then I, mm. I sold one of the of, of the influence warriors I did a silly dance and mm. I love money I keep saying that but it's not just that, it's because what I know what I can do for you guys, what, what mm. I can help you doing for yourself. So mm. it is, it is celebration is so important. I, I told that, that story of Max going to the toilet and how she celebrates still each time she mm. managed to poo it, no problem. And it's such a shitty mm. story, but it's about that. When we are little, mm. we celebrate, we celebrate each time we manage mm. to do something. And it's so, because we can be happy with small things, with simple things. Mm. And celebration is so key. Like celebrating each time we do a little <laughs> step, like a little like silly mm. body or, or a ringtone or mm. something or boom, ring the bell. It's really important. So I want to keep that in your mind. Celebration, mm. celebration is key, really. Mm. But uh, and each time my clients have little wins, I, I, I celebrate and I, you know, I want to make sure that they, they know that I want to make sure that they celebrate because it's, you know, it's, that's what sometimes we can take steps forward and we can, we can um, make progress. But if we don't notice we're making progress, it doesn't motivate us in the same way. Whereas when we look back and we go, oh yeah, wow. I'm actually, wow. Yeah, yeah, because shit. you guys, you guys, you guys, I, 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 Yolanda is from, for me, one of my favorite examples of this and Katie, but she's not here today. And she's working with me as a, as a, me as a coach, uh, like you go through, oh, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then, you know, start creating identity and finding yourself. I think then the Pinterest key exercise is amazing in special for creative people because it helps a lot yeah. and i'm I, I i love to see the progress i feel like you guys are all my kids and i'm always enjoying like the little victories like it's i have enough kids but uh, you 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 understand me nuria my princess from the north of portugal come on you both are but hi, <laughs> hi. Uh, from the north of Portugal. Oh, yeah. Sonia is also from the north. Yeah. Of Portugal. yeah. I'm not exclusive. <laughs> Tell me. Okay. How was how was your week? I know it was intense. And uh, I we we spent some time together <laughs> and not yes. not physical, but together. And um and I, I knew it then certain questions can be very intense. Like I I had some problems. It, deciding who I want to be in certain moments but I want to know how do you feel now how 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 is for you do you I have answer for you give um, me I don't know if they are the the, the final ones and um, since we talked like a couple of minutes ago what I was thinking is why is this so difficult for me even if I already did it in the past and what I arrived to is like probably my life is such a mess in this moment <laughs> that I don't have space to, to find inside myself what, uh, what I really want to express. But to be precise, life serves us. 
So before I came here, as you know, I'm doing Wings of Shape, which is three days workshop since 6 a.m. in the morning until 8 o'clock. So I'm, I'm and I'm, I'm really square. happy that you came here with all that. I'm, I'm also square in this moment after 12 hours of workshop. And the workshop I had before coming here had the title Daring to Show Up. That is a nice title. Mm -hmm. So I was happy to be there uh, because it helped me to arrive to not to the, the, the final message I want to, to share, but like who I am. I am, I am passion, I am strength, I am inspiration, I am knowledge. And this knowledge word came up to me a lot because I know so much things that I've been learning for serving myself as a person that I realized that probably this is what I have to, to give people, like my knowledge. And probably is also why it's so difficult for me to be like just one thing, like Lisa inspired me a lot because she has the stress and the, the panic uh, topic that I really like. But then I have like the relationships of Sonia that I also really like. I just don't know how to do DJ. After that, I think I know to do everything. But I'm always in time to learn. <laughs> I'm always in time to learn. And who I want to be? Uh, I want to be an inspiration and an example to serve people to go through life challenge with balance. And this wow. is who I want to be. That is strong. Life, this is, go through life challenge with balance. That is a good one. And this is what I want to be because this is what I want for me now. And mm -hmm. I believe that I'm going to find the answer and that could be a nice thing to offer. And why two words, Not like more than two, to leave a legacy. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to share something and we, I'm going to talk with all of you guys and I talked already about the opportunity of you guys teaching something and many of us get stuck with the idea of, oh, I do not know enough to teach something. Myself, guilty. Um, I just, I just want you to whatever, like, for example, Tom, I'm seeing you are bored. <laughs> I, I, I just want to tell them, for example, you, you yeah. can like on the future, make money teaching people how to organize parties. Yeah. And you don't need to be ID and T organizer or do white sensation to teach anything. What I mean is, Everything that we go through in life or through life or whatever, um, in, it gives us at least two more steps in front of other people that are behind us. And it's just that. It is important to know that everything that we know, many people do not know, it should be our job to help them. The way that we put ourselves over there is like, I know I am the mastermind or the guru of this or that. It's not necessarily that, but all of us can teach a lot of people to shortcut the years, the hours, the years that we took, the pain that we went through, the hours that we study, the experience and the fails that we went there. And we can pack that and give that as a, teach, as a way of teaching people. So it is, it is really important to, um, is, is really important, sorry, I, I, I was doing a mistake. It's really important to keep that in your mind. So yeah. when we say something, when we share something, we should share it, no problem. And I mean, I'm bringing that in because this week we are going to speak about what can we bring to the social media that is valuable and can bring transformation because that is going to be the, the like if we have five pillars of our content, four of them is giving that value. One is about ourselves and selling. So we need to think about that. And for sure, you know something that I don't know, Tom. And you can teach me something that I don't know. So if I am your audience, it's your job to teach me, even if it's like just two steps in front of me. Yeah. You no, know, I just want to keep that in your mind because 
I went through that. I went from, oh, I don't want to do courses online because I'm, I don't know. I'm not the expert. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of people. Yeah. Trust me, you guys are all crazy, but okay. So, you know. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, and, I, and I fully believe that. And I just want to say, I'm not, I'm not bored. I'm, just, <laughs> I, I'm really tired. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. No, I'm playing with you. Yeah, Thanks. it's no worries. But another thing uh, which has grabbed my attention, uh, not only about uh, spending your energy and such, but also about this time right now in this world. I don't know if you guys are aware about um, the Red Queen effect, but it's, nope. it's But something. we are going to know because you are going to tell us. That's true. That's yeah. true. Because uh, this is something which is, uh, it's usually talked about in business and it's, it's something which is taken from actually uh, the Edison Wonderland uh, films. Mm -hmm. And the Red Queen was uh, when they were playing chess. Uh, the other, I, I didn't actually watch uh, Alice in Wonderland, but how, how I... <laughs> it's a very how, weird book. Yeah. It's a book full of magic mushrooms and weird psychedelic stuff, but okay. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, maybe my genre, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> High five to, High five to uh, magic mushrooms, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. But uh, the thing that it's taught, uh, that, that it teaches is that usually in a normal economy for example when, when it's not COVID times then when you take a step forwards ev everyone is taking a step forwards everyone in your industry is taking one step forwards. so in order to get in front of them you have to run you have to take two steps forwards but what I'm realizing right now in this time that so many people will just waste this time in in letting it go to waste and waiting for better times but right now is the time to build because whatever you build right now, you're positioning yourself in an open market where everyone is standing still. It's, it's in, this is the best opportunity in life actually to start. It's a hundred percent that, a hundred percent that. And in music industry, yeah, yeah. it's totally quiet place now. What I mean with that yeah, is nothing is happening, and that's why nothing you can is happening. It's the time to target. Is the time to target. Yeah. It's the time yeah, to I go agree. there and showcase. But you need to be slightly different, and you need to have an offer, a offer or something new. So, uh, Toby, I know you are there. I don't know if you are listening to me, but. Yep. Grab all for you, for example, you are a techno priest. Me too. I believe in techno as it's very deep. It's a very different experience in life. But I think it, it is it is a it is a religious experience with no voc with no vocals and no pop pop stuff. Um, what I mean is find what is on the minds of techno lovers on this moment and speak their language. Because <coughs> uh, Billy is not here now, but me as a techno DJ, and I'm just bringing guys, be flexible, listen what I'm saying so you can adapt to your own. Me as a techno DJ now, I struggle to play techno mm -hmm. and to listen to techno on the way then um, it is, it is really, um, I play hard techno sometimes and I really enjoy it and now I cannot do it. So I'm not a hundred percent sure where the mind of the techno lovers are. So it's, it's important. This is my vision. I'm not saying I'm right, but it's important to remember techno people why they love techno. And the way that you do that before you start being a techno star is showing the story of techno. How start, how, how it changed the world, where it's from, you know, all that. I just want you, Toby, to have that in your mind because it's, it's a subject that is nice to me, but it's really interesting to observe and when everyone starts live streaming, and, 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 and Tom, you know that, I was live streaming before the pandemic. 
So I'm a live stream pioneer. I was live streaming from boats and live streaming from towers and live streaming yeah. for uh, all. I'm always up front. To, yeah. When, One whenever, step ahead. It always. It, 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 screw me. But okay. <laughs> um, when I start live streaming, uh, I, I had this idea of connection, et cetera, and I did want to bring a lot of different people at the same time. I think it's beautiful. When pandemic start, everyone start live streaming and I, I could not do it because it's too noisy. And we need to find what is our unique selling point, what we know better, what, what our friends come to us to ask questions. What is the the, 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 the part then we are different and we talk about it, you know? It is really deep, like if it was Christmas, and all our friends were around us and content was present. I'm just creating this shit now. What kind of presents did you give? What kind of problems did you give? So for my influence warriors, I will give how to create a, a carousel on Canva, very easy. I will, you know, this is, this is me fitting your problem in the same way then, then Ali was like finding a, a little slightly different way of helping her community knowing 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 you need to know your audience deep okay know how they speak what words they use what jokes they have knowing that make you being listened to okay really important to keep that in your mind mexico que tal hello everyone que tal todo bien it's a sunny no, no. a hot day today but it's a nice day yeah don't say sorry so say sorry now it's, i'm going to do a piece of sorry. content i'm sorry. going to do a piece no, a piece I, I of content again sorry. sorry did you not say sorry but i didn't i didn't say sorry i say uh sunny day sunny. oh sunny <laughs> i'm having hallucinations <laughs> I swear it's not magic mushrooms, I can guarantee you. <laughs> is it, that is a whole new conversation. But I can do like a full podcast about magic mushrooms, but that is another story. We, we, could, we could talk, but we should do a room about magic mushrooms. That is really interesting to do, but not today. We are talking about influence. So tell me. Mexico how has you... one of the greatest, greatest place for mushroom experience with a chaman, yeah. Yeah, I know, and ayahuasca and things like that. I, I no, ayahuasca is from South America more. Yeah, than... I know, but I know, but see, everyone is like the ayahuasca. I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of scared. Look, okay, let's very short about magic mushrooms. I bought a kit, I, 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 I grow some, ki some mushrooms at home. I never had a psychedelic experience in my life, okay? And I was, I talked with you, Nuri, about that. So I grow some mushrooms, I dried mushrooms, and I did want to... Uh, microdose because for school, so I did want to try to microdose. If you don't know, it's like taking a, a, a very small part what you need to take to have. Uh, but don't like don't think then mushrooms are drugs or like any ecstasy or MDMA or anything like that. Mushrooms is yeah, it's different. a very deep experience. Then I don't want to do it often. Like for me. I had a laugh attack for so many hours and the next, like, like, like then the next day I could not move my bed. I think I work out more my abs in that day than forever. And then <laughs> I had this, then my husband was laughing. I was laughing. We could not be together. We could not control ourselves. He did think he was going to die of laughing. So I was laughing even more. I had a moment I went to pick up ice cream and I bought upstairs, it was a box of ice cream and I was for half an hour looking through the box and he asked me, what are you doing? And I said, I don't remember how the box, I can open the box. So I was like, <laughs> was really, but I was totally conscious, was not then, I was like, I was there, right. but I just did not remember how to do it. And, but then I went outside and I went to, with a blanket and I went to be alone next to my pool and I see the stars and I had the most deep, beautiful feeling of belonging of something, yeah. of being part of something, of being, I cannot explain. But yeah, it's, it's easy. Be quite a spiritual experience. It is so. easy to go through the wrong world. I was so scared to have a bad trip. Yeah. So yeah, just my... Five cents on mushrooms. 
Yeah, I think so. That's medicine only. It's not for taking from the recreative. So I respect no. all those kinds. Of, of I'm drugs. so scared. I never, no. Also, I, ne I never, I never try to. I just smoke weed sometimes. I, I, I don't smoke anymore. I don't like anymore. But I used to smoke weed. But no, try with those psychedelics experience. So now. Me and my friend, we developing now working in uh, Pandora Star. I don't know if you guys or you know about the Pandora Star. No. Pandora Star is a light flashing. Mm -hmm. It's a light flashing. Um, um, it's uh, it have a, it has a, a warm and cold light, white mm -hmm. light, and it runs depend how how depend the velocity you you want to work into the uh, final um, gland? gland yeah yeah um the mystic final uh, gland i have no idea if this shit hell it, it really exists but okay yes sit, go keep going yeah. keep going yeah 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 but it works obviously it's, it's same like if you if you take any dose of drugs like or like experience with um mushrooms or something but no drugs it's just with the light flashing too fast you close your eyes and you really see colors and different, different colors you produce from your inside, but not with drugs, just with the velocity of the, of the light. Then I play some uh, instruments around like gongs or planet instruments, like with some tuning planet in, in tuning instruments and people really get connected with spaces spaces sorry spaces they don't they don't they forget about about their lives so it's like turn turn the light to the rooms in the inner space and in you're in, in your inner space like they never turn the light off you know turn on the light you know mm -hmm. and we're working now on this then i send you some links about it in the in the chat but it's amazing work because it's really good for unblock uh many walls we have inside through the music and light that's it no drugs just through I, the music I, through I, the sound music and light. it's really interesting what you are saying i had two times in my life i mean maybe paul understand what i mean and maybe you as well i don't know if tommy's listening to me um i have two times in my life that i was i was playing I was, I was not, I don't take drugs. I, I, I tried a lot, but not when I'm playing because <laughs> I'm so scared to get anxiety. You know, the combination is not a good fit. So um, I was playing and I felt light, not light color, but I felt in my soul was light. Like the balance of the track and myself and the crowd was just one thing. So, when people say, oh, you can feel high with music, it's totally true. And this week with Lisa, I was doing a breathing exercise, a terrible one she make us do, like make me very uncomfortable, look like a nightmare. But in certain moments, I went to a state of, or too conscious or not, like it really feels like you are not in your body, you are alive. So it's, it's, it's so many little things that we can do and learn about it then release, like give us like, like a holiday for a few seconds, you know, like really a deep rest. So I'm, I, I'm in love for your project. You know that I think your project is Thank amazing. You. We worked together this week and uh, did you get your, your who like the project idea all together? And uh, can you tell me, can you share with me? Uh, what did you go through? How it was this week when you work with me? I, I'm with working you? on a few on a few answers because uh, I found uh, I, I get really really have a busy day yesterday yesterday because I I found amazing mystic mountain in the top of the mountain is a pyramid and mm -hmm. the, in the in the bottom of the mountain we practice taiko taiko drums I don't know if you know about that it's a Japanese Japanese drums. Mm -hmm. And this, this for me, it's the Kung Fu and the Tai Chi from the percussion, because you really connected your body conscience, your mind and your spirit. And you really, you really um, go to your inner space and, and translate your, your inner voice, non words on sounds better than words, something what you cannot put in words, you put it on sound. 
and you sing from your inside. I think the music, every kind of music, I mean, all the music and different different genres, um, it's it's the when it's a really deep music, it's it's the excel of God, you know, it's the excel of God because it's it's really something you have inside from the creation, from the from the piece of universe is inside of you. So what I see now with this project is, as I told you before, it's the idea, first, you play any instrument with the conscience, not to be an artist, not to be a musician, to with be a mission. very human. With the mission. Yeah. yeah, the mission, yeah. So it's, it's, it's tough to be a society and really get a, a humanity, really. So mm -hmm. open, open to be a humanity. And through the instrument, before you play the instrument, connect with the idea to be an artist or musician is to be a better person, to be yourself. From the inner voice came through you, the music, through the rhythm, through the body connection. Even you don't play an instrument, you move with the music. You decodify uh, something what about your personality. You are not the personality. You are more than the personality what is inside you and you can take out through the music, practice or move with the music, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so now it's, it's, it's the idea to, to project with these different workshops to the different cultures, um, Asia, uh, North America, so different music styles, jazz, electronic, ethnic music, traditional music, and, and mix it all, all the culture through the music and through the philosophy of, of, of mystic cultures too. I don't know if I... No, 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 you, you, did, well. you did, and it is, it's very interesting. And we need to find ways to translate. I want to keep, to live a, 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 a word like, whatever project we are doing is really important to keep documenting yeah documenting our struggles documenting our process documenting our thoughts in video uh, film yourself struggling film yourself on the process film yourself i have been doing that because it is to build trust and to transform faster it's important to change I will for I did, you know? And, yeah. and, and um, keeping that content creation, that struggle, like for example, you Tom, next time that you prepare a party, like, hi guys, we had this idea, we are going to, you know, my boat party where we, we did, you know, the, the canal and I was live streaming, I have that all in video. The idea, the first meetings, how it was, how create, how we fail, you know, all that. It's yeah. really, it's really something to keep in your mind. Like keep a vlog from yourself growing to that. Just be honest and keep doing that kind of footage. Yeah. Um, Honestly, I'm not I'm not too much of a vlog person. No, no, but, but for I, yourself, for yourself. Yeah, so yeah, but I do keep a personal journey. So I write to myself. I love and that's, I love that's why I that's what I get out of it and uh, for for like promotional materials I have few friends who can like uh, whenever I do have an event mm -hmm. I have few guys who can uh, log it all down for me uh, yeah. video. So it's, it is it is it is, so uh, <laughs> it is really I, I, important. I give to those guys to do that it is really important. Yeah, yeah, I know um, that. And it's it's really important to have footage of, of, of stuff. Yeah. So, so that's why I have those guys so cool. Uh, one question, Paul. Paul, uh, tell me something. What yes. kind of, because all of the other ones I have idea, but because I am a DJ as well, I want to know what kind of value do you think you can bring as a content? Um, the, oh, oh, <laughs> I know we we are the tricky ones on that. We are, um, and, and I have uh, been working around this for years, so I'm really happy to team up with you guys for make this happening. Because the life coach and the makeup artist and the therapist for music and the, the, the they it's 
slightly easy at least on my vision and i want to work i want to work that i want to see with you and with the other djs what can we bring i have some ideas but i don't want to contaminate my ideas to your creativity so share with me what you think and we go from there um you put us on the spot now <laughs> everybody's watching i can't i can't perform under pressure <laughs> I just I, I just think putting a putting a positive message out there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean the con the obviously the content wise is obviously because I'm I'm producer as well. Obviously I'm but I'm putting I'm putting music. I feel like I've, I've just put a quote on before um, about the, when I'm producing when I'm when I'm producing music. I think about what's going to work on the dance floor. That that's how I, that's how I sort sort of go about it, but. I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? It, I, I think, but okay, but that means I have a slightly question for you. Who is your audience? Because you did not told me that. I was, try, I was trying to avoid it, that's why. <laughs> because look, if you, if you have the idea to build, tell me, tell me, sorry. Tell me. Because, because, because I've got, because obviously I'm multi-genre, I, I haven't got a specific genre that I play because I do that many different parties. <sighs> Music's just, all music speaks to us. Do you know what I mean? It, it's not. I, we we like, we like we like music in general. We have that. Yeah, in common. yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, hip hop's what I listen to. It, it, it's I'm not sort of. I play dance music because I know that's what works on the dance floor. To obviously depend on the party, but hip hop's what I've got a passion for. Um, okay, so hold that because I know you know a lot about hip hop. Why you, even if that is not your main target now, but that is your passion, how much stories in, in history of hip hop do you have on you? A hundred. Okay. At least. So I mean... how many people do you think it's online and special in your country? Then can he have an interest for hip hop? I think it's, it's, it's within the millions. I really do. I mean, obviously, the UK scene has gone more sort of grime, but my era of hip hop is nineties hip hop. Uh, to, I mean, the first album I heard was Wu Tang Clan. I know. Thirty six GM ninety three. Show your tattoo. Uh, on my tattoo. <laughs> on my arm. I can't get my sleeve up. Okay, but you it's have. Okay, nah, I can't get it out, and I'm not taking my top off because all the ladies will go wild, and then I'll. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> what I mean is, uh, you, I know you have a love for hip hop. And I know we play sometimes a safe game because we believe we need to please everyone. And I'm going to go back to you, Yolanda, because we talked about this. You are a makeup artist and a nail artist, but your main thing is minimalist looks. And I am, even if I work on TV and I had thousands of my times my face full of makeup I am a very low back person very Dutch kind of Dutch Dutch women are more relaxed on that um, so it's important to bring our passion up so I love music I love techno but my passion is transforming lives and your passion is hip-hop you are always talking you put the glasses and it's like so to building some confidence and trust because you nailed the subject let's think about bringing hip-hop knowledge to your social media okay yeah. and let's do that in a consistent way so at least one piece of content each week and we will go through that to the week don't stress out yeah but i'm trying to think about me you as well but me uh, because I have some DJs and follow me. I, I don't want to teach you how to mix because I learned alone. It's really hard for me to teach something then I even don't understand how I learned. Yeah. So it's, but I can teach you what you should do when you arrive to club, how you should look to your crowd, how you should play for them, how you should ask if you can smoke over that floor or not. Uh, where are the bars? What is the process to buy a drink? 
all of this, it's needed for me to design my set. So I don't misinterpret I don't do a misinterpretation about I having a hole on my dance floor. Is that hole motivated for me to lose my flow? Or is that a hole motivated for a broken machine from Atem machine is not working. Everyone is going, you know, this is observation. This is a job and this is what the DJ should do. So I can share this content in the same way that I can share all the other content for social media. But it's really important if you cannot define what can you, my, your audience or the audience that you think they need, define who are you deeply passionate of. Sometimes it's a football team or a soccer team or, or whatever, but speak to start building confidence, speak about something that you are deep in love for. Okay. And I, I, I'm just, because this week is going to be about value. And we are going to work on that. So I, I, I want to, Tom, what are you really deep in love for? So um, <clears throat> it's maybe not that deep of a love. Maybe it is, but what, what really got me into playing is how electronic music, I've, I've always had a, a passion about electronic music, how some of these tracks that I listen to and some of these artists that publish these tracks, like so, so, some of them, they've like... The notes, the the kick, like some of these tracks, they are laid out. Like whenever whenever I listen to it for the first time, I already know how it's gonna be, because it's kind of made. It's a mathematic sequence. Formula. It's kind yeah. of a formula. The song, and I know the formula, so I know what to expect. And it's this formula that I want to learn and also bring. It's a pity then Secret Cinema is not here today. Uh, yeah. I found that is really, I struggle a lot with that because I, after I became a DJ, I could never go out anymore on the sense that I can go yeah, out, yeah. but my brain is always calculating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. And, That's the same and thing I was because like, whenever oh, you what listen is doing? to what she's shit. doing? Oh my God, no. Yeah. Oh, yes, well done. Oh, no, left. Yeah. Ah, no. You know, it's, it's, you are constantly like pushing yeah, yourself counting, on the, counting. yeah, you're counting, you're always counting. Like, you get, <laughs> And it's like, what are you doing? It's like, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You are listening to the DJ and then you agree with him or not or her. Yeah. And you say, ah, no, oh, no effect. You have wind. Ah, no, the you, it's, oh, it's very this, annoying. This, this is the reason I don't go out anymore. Yeah, you do just, just say it like that. <laughs> Yolanda, when you see like terrible makeup, how do you feel? Sounds. Sound, sound, sound. I cannot hear you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel uh, I feel bad for them, but I, I, I I'm uh, I'm shocked that nobody have has seen it before. <laughs> I'm like, wow, there's so many steps and trails, and you haven't seen it, and you put them on TV or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't understand it. Do you but, feel, do you feel then the people have the tendency? Like I feel then people have the tendency when the people have the confidence to do a tutorial of any shit and just do it and present themselves. We, if we know less, the tendency is to say, well done, but we, <laughs> just because they did, is the only distance between them and us, you know? So I see some certain tutorials about things that I know. So what is that? <laughs> Yes, yes, but I have it. I have it quickly. Also with nails, I know everybody has a different kind of taste and style. But I am. I'm sometimes I think like, oh shit, why? <laughs> Don't why? do anything. Why? 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 why you do that? Yeah. Yes. A good one. And 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 nowadays it's like more common also with makeup and and stuff like you don't recognize people anymore <laughs> it's like yeah. that that is a tricky thing then i don't get it like i never did want to use so much makeup then in the next day someone did not recognize me yes that's how scary. do you do that 
<laughs> it's very stressful. I cannot imagine my life like that. I like we talked about it. Some women were like the husbands never saw them without makeup. Like, yeah, it's terrible. Guys, I have no makeup. It's 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 really interesting how makeup became how the filters became a thing. About yes. that, I love our filters, but uh, but I try to not put too much. You know, like I I yeah, it seemed very interesting. Sonia, I I think you. You had a journey. I observe your journey. Uh, in case then you guys don't know, Sonia did. Um, she she have a book. Uh, you can uh, You can you can get anything that you want. It's a really interesting book, uh, and I love she made, she did it. You know, um, I I feel I love books. So I, books are a really important thing in my life. Um, if I could. Uh, and I could for because I'm kind of a minimalist. If I could, I have like a full thing of books. But I control myself a lot, and um, I I want you to do you feel confident in what is the value that you can bring. I know you are doing a lot of posts with value. Um, do you listen? Do you do you create the posts based on the problems of your clients yes yes i have um i have a full document of of the my uh, i call it my avatar my, my persona mm -hmm. well, i have a full document of the, the problems of my persona and so every time i make content is to touch in one of those problems yeah uh, today yesterday I was making a, an experience with reels and I, I, I was almost not, I wasn't sure if I was going to post it, but I did. You don't Posts, imagine. posts are not tattoos. Posts are not tattoos, just to publish post, it. Post, post. And if you don't work, we take out, but just post. Yeah. Push yourself, you don't push imagine. yourself. Yeah. The number, the number of private messages I've received because of that. Wow! And how did that make you feel? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I will not doubt again on posting my my playing with reels, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. It is. Uh, it when is. When you touch on the when, on other people' pain, you. But normally, that, when that you pain. went to that pain as well. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, that that has an impact, and what what I'm seeing now that I'm I am much more focused on what I post, mm -hmm. and I'm seeing the results of it, and and I see that when you 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 when someone that is following you and every day is relating with what you post, even if that person is following you for a year or two and has, has never spoken to you. Now they are. I'm feeling all, already that that uh, difference in uh, most of all in Instagram. I'm I'm. Yeah, I'm we are very, We are going to focus on Instagram because most of all in Instagram. I, it, I am the, other, the other places. Yeah. It, 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 it's difficult. It's 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 difficult and, and not difficult. It's it's it's, it's easy going messy. process. And and it's very messy on Facebook and everything. Yeah, I in, think. In Instagram, I think people are are. I don't know, but. Yeah. I, I am getting much more to people on Instagram than, than on Facebook. Uh, and are you... I, I, I just think that the main thing we change is the way then we look to our likes and to our comments. Yeah. Like, when we look to our likes and to our comments and we visualize the person behind who took 30 seconds of her time, to comment, to post, man, that is the thing. Grow people. Yes, you, you, you've taught like, me that. Yeah, I, com, com, like if I have 14 people commenting and the 14 people are you guys, I'm a fucking rock star because all of you are so deep involved in the world. And you know, it's, it's just a question of perspective. It's just a question of trying. Each time then we are scared, we do it, okay? I always say then, 
the story of Napoleon, I saw, I said the at the time, Napoleon was a new, like a very young general. He was on the front of war and the, the soldiers were making fun of him because he was shaking. And he said to them, if you guys had half of the fear that I have, you did run away already. So like stretcher, so what is the worst thing can happen when you post something? What is the worst thing can happen? Even if you start having some hate comments, means then you are doing well. Nobody in Brazilian people say that nobody kick a dog, a dead dog, you know, like if we start to have hate comments, you knowing you are, you are going there, you know, nobody will care with you if you are not doing an impact. So I uh, would say that no, no publicity is bad publicity. Yeah. We talked about that as well. And that story about me having a newspaper saying that I was yeah. late on the rent and then I was a rock star. Yeah, basic. You know, it, it, it is important. And I, I want you guys, because if the mission, if your wife, the mission, if the people then you are going to help, if the people then you are going to have fun on your parties, if the people you are going to make dance, if the people you are going to cure, you and you, and you make it, if your vision is clear, you don't really care you feel the need to do it. So you have the distance. You want to, Yolanda will want to help me to explain how can I do a basic makeup with three things. And me, as a person who don't believe in makeup and I'm scared and I don't understand shit and I'm 40 and all that things, I will love to consume. So knowing, knowing your tribe, you know what to say to them knowing what to say to them, solving their problems, you will not feel anxious. Cool? Okay. Okay, this week, I am going to record the contents now, and this week is going to be about setting goals, digital goals. Like I said, digital goals can be more 10 followers, can be more 10 comments, can be post more times, on this moment should just be around this. Uh, on the future can be leads or, or event, event people or, or, or bookings. On this moment, it should be kind of we giving and the results and analyzing. The reason why on the audit, I ask for you guys to look to your, your insights is because I know how the insights are going to progress, you know? And we will, work a lot about what can we give as value? What can we, uh, and that is my suggestion, probably I will do a masterclass tomorrow, mixing what can we do as a value, what each one of us can bring in. Like you can teach, uh, I don't know, you can teach how to do basic makeup to yourself or you can teach, you know, you can, uh, uh, Lisa can teach a way of uh, typing and, and releasing anxiety. You can like bring some information about the instrument and how the vibration vibrates in the same way that the mother heard. You can bring some knowledge about hip hop and how we are going, you know, we should run a masterclass about that tomorrow. Uh, who wants? And then I will go through the, the creator studio and explain to you how you can use the creator studio for autopilot your content. Uh, Yolanda, don't stress with the creator studio because I will, I will, I will have that. But I, I think it's the, 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 the content ideas in the creator studio can be combined so we can have that together. Cool. I feel very responsible for all of you guys and, but I'm having a blast with this. So I hope you guys are really enjoying and oh, some people, <clears throat> Ali came to me and said, then is, we have too many groups. I understand that. Maybe Facebook group don't make sense. I, I, I like to share on Facebook, but I understand. So if you guys want to think about and tomorrow talk with me about if it's too many groups. I, I like to leave the Instagram group because the Instagram group is important for us to share and keep some engagement going on. And in the WhatsApp group is really important so we can like uh, keep in touch. But uh, if the, I will keep the Facebook group, but if the Facebook group is, is stressing someone, if something is stressing you, come to me.
Okay, we don't want that feeling at all in any way, form or shape, but prepare you there because stress feelings will come all each time that you are changing something in your life, you will feel stressful because you are going out of your normal box. Okay. I love you guys. Do you have any question, any doubts, any, no, no, no doubts. No. Okay. Okay. We see each other tomorrow if you guys want. Be yeah. At what uh, at what time tomorrow? <clears throat> what you guys prefer, ten or or nine from a Central European time? So we start uh, at nine p.m. 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 All right. Um, PM. For me, uh, nine uh, nine p.m. is fine. Then there's there's no a.m. at stages. No a.m. <laughs> <laughs> no okay. Okay. We well, <laughs> I'm, not, will... I'm not too much of a morning person as well, but I can adapt. Yeah. Okay, no, but it's PM, it's PM, it's PM. Or we will talk about each one of us thinking about start thinking about <laughs> start thinking about what can you bring as value. Uh what can you teach? Yeah. What can uh, PDFs can we go guidelines or you know, start thinking about that. It's going to be a very yeah. strong exercise, and we will do it during the week as well, but it's interesting to listen to other people so we think out of the box. Yeah. Cool? Cool. Yeah. All right, so 9 a.m. tomorrow. 9 p.m. 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 Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. 9 p.m. Right. <laughs> I'll see okay. you tomorrow then. I love you guys. Bye guys. Bye bye. 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 Bye b